Hi kids, Billy and Francesca here for another episode of Hashing It Out with Billy Francesca. Woo! <laughs> You're also fucking jealous, I love it. As you kids know, I get topics and we talk about them. Okay, our first one is, I'm too tall when I'm young. What the fuck kind of language is that? Is that a Z? Hey. Oh, is there someone here who's Hispanic? Please leave and don't steal any of my jewelry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, they do take a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? It's a riddle! It's a riddle! <laughs> it's... I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? I literally, this could literally be anything. A dwarf? Are dwarfs? <laughs> no, dwarfs aren't tall. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. Stay tuned for me to figure out what kind of Asian witchcraft this is and we'll get back to it real soon. I'm gonna keep that in my file, do some research on that at a later date. Who invented post-its? Uh, duh, Romy and Michelle. <laughs> get your fucking lives. I invented post-its. You're kidding. Don't try to trip me up with gay fucking shit. I know everything. Six Pins Dolores. You know that's how I like it. Oh man. Six Pins Dolores is, well, she's sort of a little bit of an urban legend. She was a young woman who lived in Schenectady and she liked to take it up the, you know, and she was able to take six. Maybe not at the same time, but legend has it that if you gave her enough Jaeger bombs, she'd shove them all in there. <laughs> But people called her Six Pin Dolores. I called her mom. <laughs> oh, oh shit, my mother's gonna fucking kill me. Would you guys mind saying hello to my boom operator, Lilan Matsumoto? She just got back from the island of Come on, I wanna lay ya. All right, it's time for a little special thing we're doing called Phrases from the Past. Because a lot of my audience is young and doesn't know a lot of the old stuff like I know from reading books. Bibliotecas to some of you who are <laughs> speaking a different language. Okay, one of the old phrases from the past. Do any of you have ever heard this phrase? She doesn't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. Have you ever heard that? Yeah. You know what it means? Good, I'm gonna tell you. She doesn't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. That means she's so poor that she doesn't have an actual window to shove her piss bucket out of if she wanted to throw it out the window. Why would she throw it out the window? Who the fuck knows why? My mom always used to say, I'd say, oh, do you know that woman down on? Yeah, she doesn't have a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. I just thought that was wonderful. Phrases from the past. She was probably talking about a nun. What is this thing called plopping by millennias? Is it like docking? by old dogs. Literally, I don't know if I know any of these fucking words. <laughs> Isn't docking when you're sleeping and someone like comes and puts their balls on your forehead? Is that not? Because I've been docked a lot. My nickname is Marina. <laughs> Wonderful. Get it, Cause, but it also works because yeah. it's a Latin name and I'm a whore. Okay, moving on. I don't know what plopping is. Is plopping kind of like when you eat bacon during sex? No. Oh, is it something nasty? Next. Next, I can't, that's a lot though, plopping. I was at a club last week and this guy was like, I love your fucking show. Can you do lesbians for me? I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, PSL. And I was like, PSL? He's like, pumpkin spice lattes from one of our shows. When he said it, PSL, I went, <gasps> lesbians. He goes, you're doing it, you're doing it. And I was like, yeah, bitch, I thought it up. Lesbians. And then I had security remove him for being too friendly. Okay, are you part of the Black Panther movement? Oh God. I not anymore, sadly, not anymore. <laughs> Everyone was talking about Beyonce's, I didn't even know that until after the Super Bowl. I was like, she looked amazing. Like, she comes out in black leather on the field. They're like, Beyonce, wanna build you a stage, she did this. <laughs> I'm gonna take to the field, thank you. Clear it out. She comes out, gush, gush, and everyone's like, at her outfit, I was like, bitch, it's Beyonce, she can do whatever she wants. Name the movies these characters are from. Freddy Krueger is, of course, from Schindler's List. <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw is, uh, she was with Cher in Teeth with Mussolini, I believe. <laughs> Wonderful film. Clark Griswold, a doll, because he watched it here at the Birdhouse. That's, um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and then National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And I just say Christmas Vacation. <laughs> Michael Myers, of course, is from my favorite movie, my favorite horror film of all time. 
November 1st. I'm just kidding. You guys know that we've told that story, right? I can't tell it again. And my friend Tosh says, I can't believe this whole movie takes place in one day. And then fucking Josh says, well, it's not called November 1st. Do I have time to tell the tree story? Oh my God. So we were at this party at Josh's house a few weeks ago and the AT&T guy come to the house and he's like, oh, this tree is dead. You got to cut it down. I don't know the guy, right? So I'm like, it's not fucking dead. It's fucking winter. And he's like, okay, you're a crazy person. So he goes and does whatever AT&T people do, which I apparently is cash my checks and not fix my internet. So anyway, I tell Josh we're at a party and I'm like, oh, the at and who's the guy you yelled? I'm like, oh, the AT&T guy said the tree in my backyard was dead. Danny's behind me goes, well, that tree is actually dead. And I'm like, fuck you, Danny. That tree's not fucking dead. I have nurtured that tree since birth. I water it, I trim it, I prune it. I tend to it year round. Josh says, what tree is he talking about? I go, the dead one in the backyard. <laughs> And we laughed and laughed. Kids, that's gonna wrap up another wonderful episode of Hashing Out with Billy Francesca. Please subscribe to my page. Please watch us on Advice from Idiot live on T Radio V, Thursday nights from 7 to 8 Pacific Standard Time. I have no idea what it means, but it's there. And thank you so much. <laughs> Out of the way, Shy! MFK. Hillary, Bernie, or Donald? Obviously, I'm gonna marry Donald Trump. <laughs> I, I want that money!